Disclaimer, hacking is illegal and punishable by law. This video is created solely for educational purposes to raise awareness about cybersecurity threats and how to protect yourself online. We do not support or encourage any illegal activities. Always use your knowledge responsibly and within the boundaries of the law. Stay safe and ethical. The Flipper Zero is designed as a tool for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and educational purposes. Using it responsibly and within the boundaries of the law is crucial. With that out of the way, let's dive into the endless possibilities of this dangerous tool and its main targets. Unauthorized access to secure areas. The Flipper Zero's ability to clone RFID cards can lead to serious security breaches if used maliciously. Many secure buildings and restricted areas rely on RFID-based access control systems, where employees or authorized personnel use RFID cards to enter. By cloning these cards, someone with a Flipper Zero could gain unauthorized access, bypassing the security measures in place. This could result in theft, vandalism, or even corporate espionage if sensitive areas like server rooms or offices are accessed without permission. Such actions can compromise the safety of individuals and the integrity of the organization. The consequences can be severe, including legal action, job loss, or even criminal charges. Unauthorized access could also lead to a breach of confidential information, which could have widespread repercussions for both the targeted organization and its clients or partners. This highlights the need for robust security measures beyond just RFID cards, such as multi-factor authentication or biometric systems. The Flipper Zero's power should always be used ethically, respecting the privacy and security of others. Hacking keyless entry systems the Flipper Zero can intercept and replay radio signals used by car key fobs, posing a significant risk to vehicle security. Keyless entry systems, which allow car owners to unlock and start their vehicles remotely, rely on these radio signals to function. By capturing these signals, an attacker with a Flipper Zero could unlock and even start a car without the owner's key fob, leading to potential car theft or unauthorized use. This type of attack, known as a relay attack, has become increasingly common with the rise of keyless entry vehicles. The financial and emotional impact on the car owner can be substantial, as it may involve not only the loss of the vehicle, but also any personal belongings inside. Car manufacturers are continually working to improve the security of these systems, but the threat persists. Misusing the Flipper Zero in this way is illegal and unethical, as it involves taking something that doesn't belong to you and violating someone's personal property. It underscores the importance of securing key fobs and being aware of the potential vulnerabilities in modern vehicles. Disrupting home security systems. The Flipper Zero's capability to interact with sub-gigahertz devices can be exploited to disrupt home security systems, leaving homes vulnerable to intrusion. Many wireless home alarm systems operate on sub-gigahertz frequencies using signals to communicate between sensors, cameras, and the control panel. By capturing and replaying these signals, or even jamming them, an attacker could disable or interfere with the security system, rendering it ineffective. This could provide an opportunity for burglary or other malicious activities, putting the homeowner's safety and property at risk. Such disruptions can cause not only financial loss, but also significant emotional distress, as the sense of safety within one's own home is compromised. Moreover, insurance claims related to such incidents can be complicated if the security system was tampered with. Misusing the Flipper Zero in this way is a criminal act, violating the privacy and security of individuals in their most personal space. It's a stark reminder of the potential dangers of powerful technology when placed in the wrong hands and it emphasizes the need for vigilance and additional security measures in modern homes. Signal jamming. Signal jamming is a particularly disruptive use of the Flipper Zero, as it can interfere with the normal operation of various wireless devices. For instance, by jamming the signal from a car key fob, an attacker could prevent the owner from locking their car, making it an easy target for theft. This type of interference can also affect garage door openers, wireless alarms, and other remote-controlled systems, leading to potential security breaches or simply creating significant inconvenience. Jamming can disrupt important communications, potentially affecting emergency services or other critical operations, 
which could have far-reaching consequences. In many countries, signal jamming is illegal due to its potential to interfere with essential services, and using the flipper zero for this purpose can lead to serious legal repercussions. Despite its potential for mischief or malicious use, signal jamming is a dangerous activity that can cause real harm. The capability to jam signals illustrates the need for better security in wireless communication systems, ensuring they are resilient against such attacks. It's crucial to remember that with great power comes great responsibility, and the Flipper Zero should be used for constructive purposes, not harm. Exploiting infrared devices, the Flipper Zero's ability to capture and replay infrared IR signals can be misused to take control of various devices, disrupting their normal operation. Many household appliances, such as TVs, air conditioners, and media players, are controlled by IR remotes, and the Flipper Zero can easily intercept these signals. An attacker could use this to change TV channels, adjust settings, or turn devices on or off without the owner's knowledge, which might seem like a harmless prank, but can be highly disruptive in certain contexts. For example, during a public presentation or in a professional environment, such interference could cause significant embarrassment or hinder important activities. In more malicious scenarios, IR exploitation could be used to tamper with security cameras or other critical equipment that relies on IR communication. This kind of unauthorized control breaches the privacy and autonomy of the device owner, leading to potential legal consequences. While the Flipper Zero's IR capabilities are impressive, they should be used responsibly for educational purposes, or in environments where such experimentation is permitted. Misusing this power can lead to a loss of trust and respect, as well as potential legal action. Bluetooth exploitation. Bluetooth exploitation using the Flipper Zero can compromise the security and privacy of wireless devices in a significant way. Bluetooth is widely used for connecting devices like wireless headphones, speakers, smartwatches, and even medical devices. The Flipper Zero can scan for nearby Bluetooth devices, intercept their signals, and potentially pair with them without the owner's consent. This unauthorized access can allow an attacker to listen to private conversations, steal data, or manipulate the device's functions. For instance, hijacking a Bluetooth speaker could be used to play unwanted audio or disrupt a presentation. In more severe cases, exploiting vulnerabilities in Bluetooth medical devices could lead to life-threatening situations. Bluetooth hacking is illegal and breaches the personal privacy of individuals, making it an unethical use of the Flipper Zero. While the device's Bluetooth capabilities are intended for testing and improving security, their misuse can lead to serious harm. It serves as a reminder of the importance of securing Bluetooth devices with strong passwords and keeping them updated to prevent unauthorized access. Executing bad USB attacks. The Flipper Zero's ability to emulate a USB keyboard and execute bad USB attacks is a powerful yet dangerous feature if used maliciously. By connecting the Flipper Zero to a computer, an attacker can make it automatically type commands, download and install malware, or steal sensitive information without the user's knowledge. Bad USB attacks exploit the trust that computers place in connected USB devices, allowing for quick and often undetectable execution of harmful actions. This can lead to significant breaches in personal or organizational security, compromising confidential data, and potentially leading to financial loss or reputational damage. The consequences of such attacks can be severe, with victims potentially facing data theft, identity fraud, or the spread of ransomware. Misusing the Flipper Zero in this way is illegal and can lead to criminal charges, including unauthorized access to computer systems and data theft. While bad USB capabilities are valuable for security researchers to test the resilience of systems, their misuse is a serious ethical and legal violation. Responsible use of the Flipper Zero is essential and it should only be used in environments where explicit permission has been granted for testing and research. Cloning contactless payment cards. The Flipper Zero's ability to interact with NFC technology opens up the possibility of cloning contactless payment cards, a highly illegal and unethical activity. Contactless payment systems, like those used in credit cards and smartphones, rely on NFC to process transactions quickly and conveniently. 
However, if an attacker uses the Flipper Zero to capture the NFC signal from a contactless payment card, they could potentially clone the card and make unauthorized transactions. This type of fraud can lead to significant financial losses for the victim, and it undermines trust in the security of contactless payment systems. The consequences for the perpetrator can be severe, including criminal charges and imprisonment. Beyond the legal implications, this kind of activity can cause widespread harm to consumers and businesses, leading to stricter regulations and potential changes in how payment systems operate. Misusing the Flipper Zero for such activities not only harms individuals, but also damages the reputation of ethical hacking and security research. It's crucial to use the device within legal boundaries, focusing on improving security and helping to protect against such vulnerabilities, rather than exploiting them. Manipulating Smart Home Devices The Flipper Zero's ability to interact with subgigahertz and other wireless signals can be exploited to manipulate smart home devices without the owner's consent. Smart homes are equipped with devices like smart locks, lights, cameras, and thermostats, all of which can be controlled remotely via wireless signals. By intercepting and replaying these signals, or by exploiting vulnerabilities in their communication protocols, an attacker could unlock doors, turn lights on and off, or disable security cameras. This not only invades the privacy of the home's occupants, but also poses serious security risks, potentially allowing unauthorized access or even leading to burglary. Such manipulation could also disrupt the daily lives of the occupants, causing stress and inconvenience. The misuse of the Flipper Zero in this way is illegal and unethical, as it involves tampering with someone else's personal property. It highlights the importance of securing smart home devices with strong encryption and regular updates to protect against such attacks. Responsible use of the Flipper Zero should always focus on identifying and fixing security weaknesses, not exploiting them for malicious purposes. Spying on wireless communications, the Flipper Zero's ability to capture and analyze radio frequencies used by various wireless devices makes it a potent tool for spying on wireless communications. Many devices, from baby monitors to home automation systems, use unencrypted or weakly encrypted radio signals to communicate. By intercepting these signals, someone with a Flipper Zero could listen in on conversations, watch through security cameras, or steal data being transmitted wirelessly. This kind of surveillance can lead to significant privacy violations, potentially exposing sensitive information or private moments without the knowledge of the individuals involved. The implications of such spying can be severe, including personal embarrassment, financial loss, or even blackmail. Misusing the Flipper Zero for eavesdropping is illegal and unethical, as it involves violating the privacy of others. It serves as a reminder of the importance of securing wireless communications with strong encryption and other protective measures. The Flipper Zero's capabilities should be used responsibly, focusing on learning and improving security rather than exploiting vulnerabilities for malicious purposes. Ethical Considerations The ethical considerations of using the Flipper Zero cannot be overstated. While the device offers a fascinating array of features that allow users to interact with and understand various technologies, it also carries significant potential for misuse. The Flipper Zero is designed as a tool for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and learning, and it should be used with these goals in mind. Unauthorized access to or manipulation of devices is illegal, unethical, and can lead to serious legal consequences. Whether it's cloning an RFID card, jamming signals, or executing a bad USB payload, the user must always ensure they have explicit permission to perform these actions. The line between ethical hacking and illegal activity is clear. Hacking should only be done with consent and for the purpose of improving security. Misusing the Flipper Zero not only harms others, but also undermines the credibility of the security community. Therefore, users of the Flipper Zero should adhere to a strict code of ethics, focusing on responsible use, continuous learning, and contributing positively to the field of cybersecurity.